Happy Sunday, my clubhouse babies. I hope you're having a great week. I'm so excited to see you guys today. Today, we're going to learn about how God loves us and he has a plan for us. We're going to be coming from Esther. So y'all get ready, put your listening ears on, and let's watch our Bible story. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun. As you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard, it's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up, just follow me through. Who, who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Oh, i got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. 
Ho, ho. Wow, what a great story. We are so special to God that he loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! You know what? I can still love Pop even though she spelled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye! Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39. Just a heart that wants to seek your face It's all about to change I'll never be the same So you ask me to follow And when the doubts return You speak a better word I promise I won't look back I know you're there I won't be scared Your future out
Wow, that was a really great story. I learned that God had a plan for Esther and he's got a plan for us too. That makes me really excited. Well guys, I really enjoyed spending time with you today. I hope that you have a great weekend and I cannot wait to see you here again next week. Bye guys.